to see it going on. So a lot of these guys fail to realize, and even some of you fans may not realize this, but when we come out here and they say, quarter turn to your right, face curtain, quarter turn, quarter turn, that's, a, that's part of this. So if you already lose some of those shots, just standing there still, just think what happens when we start posing is things start popping and becoming more three-dimensional and all the separation and you know, the, the tie-ins, the, the roundness, the graininess, and, and these are the things that some people have, some people don't. And um, essentially, that's what's made me be a champion. So I, I agree with what you're saying. He didn't want to answer the question right away because he was asked about uh, back from the bicep or whatever, the back. But I get what he's saying. He said it's not just judge, not predicated on one pose. It's predicated on a ton of different poses, starting with the front, side, rear lat, the other side, and then we get into the you know, you know, front of the bicep, back spread, side shots, etc. Those of all of which, you know, I can sit here and tell you the same thing. I've been working very hard and making sure that I maximize this body as well. So it's kind of like what Arnold used to say, you know, getting time right and all this other stuff. And getting, you know, Sean got another year, I got another year, I'm better anyway. If he improves, why wouldn't I improve? And I think sometimes being a champion, you know, people will initially think, well, the underdogs, all the other people, yeah, they're, they've made improvements in the champion. That's, well, I mean, I've pretty much improved every year. And anytime someone said that Phil doesn't have this and Phil doesn't have that, I've actually made sure I did do that the following year. I can't say that for everybody else. And that's something that Mr. Olympia is you know how to do. They take a, a weakness, they get adjudicated, they get critiqued as peers, even by the judges. And then they go back and they improve on that so that they don't have to say the same thing over and over again. And that's what I do every single day. Well, talk about tie-ins and uh, talk about getting older. <laughs> <laughs> Oldest man on this stage. No, maybe not. Yeah, not no, maybe he is. <laughs> yes. Tell me about tie-ins. About tie-ins? <laughs> Phil mentioned the tie-ins. Oh, so don't all make don't be talking about old man muscle. Yes. Sean got second place last year. Took it away from you from the year before. You've been very vocal and very open in your social media this year about your improvements, about your training the whole year. What can we expect from the blade coming tomorrow night? Well, <coughs> his trainer loved to run his mouth a lot. So what I wanted to do this year, even though I beat him every show outside the Olympia every year, I wanted to show everybody what I can do if I take a full year off like they do. So I took the whole year off, no arm on my left. And um, so if I'm beating these guys, competing all year, what do you think is going to happen when I take the whole year off and be able to train just for one show like them? I, I don't talk a lot of trash. I mean, y'all know me. Boy, don't talk no trash. <laughs> But if I get going, <laughs> I just remember one text I got from Dex. I remember one text two months ago. He said, I'm in his, I'm a, I'm a close, so don't, don't, don't. He said, I'm in his ass this time. <laughs> I mean, I do that to my friends. You guys will never see me do that, you know, on paper. He's a boy. This is men's talk, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clown, so I laugh at myself. Man. I got, I laugh at my own jokes, just let y'all know. But anyway, um, it's gonna be a good show, man. It's gonna be a battle. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the improvements that I've made from taking the whole year off. Okay, and um, it's gonna be good. Let's just say that. Are we seeing the best Jackson Jackson this year? Because I think you will see the best Dexter ever this year. I'm just saying. So if I don't talk trash, usually I show you better than I can tell you. That's been always been my low, my um that, that's always been my motto. When people say I can't do something, I show you. Okay, you get a lot of guys up and they get posted all these pictures online, they look like Hercules. 
And then when they get to the show, it's like, what happened? <laughs> That's not gonna happen with me. Okay, when I say I'm gonna do something, I, I usually do. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys what I've worked so hard for this year. And um, I better see some improvements myself when I look at the pictures. <laughs> All right, thanks. I'm going to my behind. <laughs> Folks, we've got a treat here today. Normally, we've gone with the entire lineup on the Mr. Olympia, but we broke it up this year. I, for one, have been dying to get this guy on the stage. Give it up for five-time Olympia champ, Flex Loon. All right, Flex, we well, we got two Flexes on stage. We're at the battle of the Flexes here. I think they should have a pose off to see who, uh, who retains the name. Uh, and we can do that a little bit later. All right, the champ's chasing seven, you're chasing six. How's it looking this year, Flex? Uh, well, first things foremost, guys, it's great to be back here. Great to be in the press conference again. I want to thank Robin Chang and uh, the Pro League for giving the 212 a voice up here this year. So, guys, thank you very much. Uh, prep has been great, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a method to my madness every single year. I don't have an off season, as you can tell, I come in right at the top end of the weight every single year. So about 20 weeks out from the show, we started prepping and uh, we were ahead of the game. So um, thank goodness, of course, we've had some uh, adversity thrown in our way. And I say, uh, I say that, uh, you know, lightly, but um, that's what makes a champion. It, it's things get thrown in your way and having the ability to steer around things. And this week's, uh, this weekend's Olympia, I'm very, very excited to show the package that I've been working so hard for this off season, um, this, on this very stage. Fox, I want to uh, address that adversity. It's obviously the elephant in the room, but um, unfortunately we lost one of our Olympians. He was a dear friend of yours, and Josh Leonard, uh, our young IFBB pro, Dallas McCarver, uh, who I know you guys trained with every single day, was getting ready for this competition. I know he was excited as you guys were, uh, as you guys were prepping, but um, obviously there's no easy way uh, to get through that, but you're here and you're ready to defend that title. Absolutely, and uh, that's motivation for me, you know, it was a massive shock for us all and, you know, I trained with Dallas, or so seen Dallas every single day, we spoke very, uh, again, daily, wherever we were around the world, we traveled buddies together, so I took him under my wing and he was a really good kid, so of course that side swiped us all um, and, you know, as soon as we got over that then, this uh, big hurricane came into Florida. So, needless to say, we took 24 hours myself and my wife to get out. And uh, we came to Vegas very early, got situated, got into prep again. My wife has been phenomenal. Thank you very much, Ali, for taking the reins and everything because uh, if I didn't have her, I would have been a complete mess. So, she handled everything, all tickets, drove up to Orlando, flew out the next day, and we settled in a base camp, only to come to find out we had another small little hurricane called Jose <laughs> chasing behind the bloody thing. So he's behind you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, <laughs> Hurricane Jose though has run out of steam, so hopefully he runs out of steam by Saturday too. <laughs> That's a good one for us. <laughs> I got a few more. <laughs> Uh, you were hey, you were pushed all the way to the uh, to the final round last year by Ahmad right next to you, Ahmad Ashkenani, back on the Olympia stage this year. Um, you guys had a hell of a battle going right down. I know uh, it's probably your toughest win to date. I mean, obviously, they don't get any easier as they go, Flex. But I assume you expect, expect that same push from Ahmad this year. Absolutely. I mean, Ahmad came uh, straight out of uh, turning pro straight into the pro leagues when his first pro, pro show and then was straight into the Olympia so it was a, a whirlwind for him this year uh, last year I'm sorry so now he's had the mindset to train for this title all year and focus on the goal of trying to get it I'm very excited as well as you as the fans to, to see uh, his package but again you know I've trained all year to win too and I walk talk daily as a champion so it have to be a damn good physique to come and take me out because I need sleep and shit this title. Yeah.
That's it. Just to stir the pot, we got Jose, Hamad, David Henry right behind me, and each one of them all thinks they should have beat Hamad at some point in time too. So I'm going to pass around the mic and let them all argue amongst themselves. <laughs> all right, Hamad, welcome back to the Olympia stage, my friend. You gave you gave flex all I can handle last year, and you approved this year enough to take the champ out. First thing. Uh, Competitor of oh, uh, my friend and my brother. Uh, thanks for Olympia to be uh, all of us here. And it's my second time. Uh, I'm so excited to compete this year next to uh, my brother, especially Lex Lewis. And I did my best. <coughs> all, uh, this year, off season, but I came uh, better than last year. Uh, finally, I will uh, do my best on the stage and uh, hope for all of you guys enjoy this great weekend. And good luck for all my brothers to compete on this stage. All right, thank you, Mark. Well, I would like to acknowledge another multi Mr. Olympia, Jeremy Bundia, right here. Jeremy, this is the first time, this is something that I appreciate the most to get you guys on stage finally to acknowledge you guys for what you guys do. And uh, three times Mr. Olympia, and I know the pressure is always on you as the champ. Brian Terry says it's over for you. He got second last year, he said, it's it, it's done. No more Mr. Olympia and Jeremy Bodea. He said he's going to take the title away from you. What do you say? Did you say that? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll have to see what's happening. So, you know, I'm all for a good competition, and I'm very fortunate to be here again for the fifth straight year. You know, I've, I've competed in every single men's physique, physique Olympia since 2013 when it first started. So it's definitely a privilege to be uh, here for every single event, and not only that, but to be the champ for the past three years. Hopefully, on Saturday, we can perform. It's been amazing to see the growth of our division, um, see how it's grown internationally over the last few years, and how we've steadily made our way up onto the stage amongst the, the big guys, the bodybuilders, and we're gradually gaining the respect in our division. And it's, it's great to see the hard work that the athletes have put in, and to see how the, the division has evolved, and how the athletes have grown, and to see quality and how all the athletes have pushed each other over the past few years as we competed in the tour together and to see how we all grow as athletes and as bodybuilders and um, it's pretty significant to see the, the evolution of our division over the past few years and it's uh, going it to be a, a great show on Saturday. I know it's going to be the best competition I've been seeing the guys uh, post on online the social media nowadays we're able to kind of keep tabs on each other a little bit and uh it's definitely be the biggest competition to date there's a lot of phenomenal athletes and made some great improvements uh but you guys definitely expect to see the best jerry point i've been working my ass all, all year long i made some significant improvements be bigger harder and better than ever so it's gonna be a lot more than what they had around last year to take me out this year ryan are you going to be settling for second place or are you going to tell them you beat them? Uh, hi guys, uh, thank you for having me on this stage and uh, yeah, you can all tell I'm from the UK so uh, I've flown a long way for this but uh, yeah, I'm really really excited for this year. Um, obviously second place last year was uh, a dream come true for me um, but every year I always look to try and improve on um, on my physique and obviously my placing uh, within the Olympia. Um, so the only way forward from second place is obviously uh, challenging Jeremy for that first place. So uh, fingers crossed, come Saturday, um, we'll be we right up there with him and battling it out. Thank you. Andrew Ferguson, they're talking one and two. Are you going to be in the mix? What's going on, people? Don't tell me you're just here to be here. Are you in the mix? I'm never just a happy to be here, guy. Everybody here came to win. Everybody, all five of us came to win. So, came. what do you have that's going to be the winning package that they don't have? What do you think it is that's going to get you the notch over the three-time champ or the first runner-up from last year? It's going to be who's more complete. I think I got 